praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I like to take this very special opportunity to appreciate the gift of God to us and to the nations of the world. As none other than a man of God, Pastor Denis Amos Mojong and our mom, Pastor Anne, I'd like to earnestly appreciate them for giving us the supernatural word for the day, every day. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Today is Tuesday, the 15th of June, 2021. The word for today says, Jesus came for sinners. Jesus came for sinners. Glory to God. The word for today is from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 38. And the Bible says, Then Peter said to them, Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. A dear man of God, Pastor Dennis, then shares with us today saying, When Jesus died on the cross, he didn't take the place of Christians, but the place of sinners. He came as a man's substitute. The whole world had been saved from the punishment of sin. But God's interest wasn't just to save man from the punishment of sin, but to save man from the life and nature of sin. Hallelujah. A dear man of God, Pastor Dennis, then emphasizes saying, that is why it is wrong for a Christian to keep a consciousness of sin. Some are forever praying and asking God for forgiveness because they are always overwhelmed by the burden of sin consciousness. In the book of 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, that says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. What this simply means is that if we acknowledge our sins, God is faithful and just to put them away and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. There is an automatic cleansing going on. Be conscious of that grace of God instead. Hallelujah. A man of God, Pastor Dennis, concludes the supernatural word for today, say. And what's more, the sin cleansing isn't for now only. It is for the future too. That's a promise the angel gave to Mary about her son in Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. Because of that, God wants you to walk free of guilt or condemnation. He wants you to walk in the light of your righteousness, your justification, your holiness, and your sanctification in Christ Jesus. Shout glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Our first meditation scripture for today is from the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 14. And the Bible says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. Hallelujah. Our second meditation scripture is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 25. And the Bible says, I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. Hallelujah. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our man of God, Pastor Dennis, for giving us a one-year Bible reading plan. And today we are reading the book of 1 Kings chapters 5 through 6 and the book of John chapter 15. Hallelujah. Now I request that you lift your holy hands and say these words after me in our prophetic declaration for today. Say thank you Father for this glorious truth in your word. Christ is my redeemer. He redeems me from trouble and of anything that is inconsistent with the gospel. My sin he shall remember no more. I walk victorious 
conscious of my right standing with him and my triumphant life in Christ in Jesus name amen go ahead and meditate on these words by speaking other tongues libra de sati kalabara de manto kadibra staladiga jelefrado karetu stalegaya bantu katelo to stali bil karatego zanta kula pratega in jesus name shout amen